Morning everybody, it's day three of Ask Curie. Um, you'll have to forgive my less than wonderful appearance today. Uh, I rolled out of bed this morning, got the kids off to school, and then I'm gonna go to the gym in a little while. So I have not had a shower yet today, and so you get me in all my wonderful glory today. <laughs> um, but anyways, on to the question for today. This one comes from, from Carla, and she asked, if it was a film, who would you have play Cole, Alex, and Jessica from the Fall of Angels trilogy, and what sparked the, re the creativity of the trilogy? Uh, this is something I have talked about before on my blog, but it's been a while, so it's always fun to talk about it again. Um, the idea for the Fall of Angels trilogy came from um, the Phantom of the Opera. As a kid, I was obsessed with the Phantom of the Opera, and then they made the, the new movie of it with... Emmy Rossum and Gerard Butler and I'd seen it several times but one night when I was watching it again with my husband um, they had the song um, Angel of Music and she's talking about the Phantom in this song and you know I was thinking about the Phantom and thinking you know he's kind of this scary dude he does a lot of bad stuff so he's not who you would typically think of as an angel you know I always thought it was strange that you know she was thinking of him as an angel. And then there's there's another um, song where she just says this line, um, he's there, the phantom of the opera inside my mind. And so that kind of started getting me thinking about the whole um, nightmare situation and how everyone kind of thinks Jessica's crazy because of everything she's gone through. So that was kind of where the initial inspiration for the series came from with the scary angels concept. And... Um, so who I would cast um, to play the Fall of Angel, the people from the Fall of Angels, um, I guess just because the idea came from Phantom of the Opera, I can't see anybody other than Emmy Rossum playing uh, Jessica Bailey. Um, she just she just has this beautiful look, you know, she, she's got this unique look in the movie. She has this crazy long curly hair and, you know, just that's the way Jessica is. She has this crazy hair and it's kind of one of her defining physical features. So she's, she's just a really beautiful person um, and that's exactly who I would have play Jessica. Um, Um, the problem is, <laughs> is I wrote, uh, Branded five years ago. It seems so crazy now. It's been five years since I wrote Branded. This was back in 2009. Um, I didn't publish it in 2010, but I finished writing it in October of 2009. So all these people that I cast back then have kind of gotten a little old to play the characters now, considering they're all in their 20s. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's who I would have, uh, play Jessica. For Alex, he's he's been a difficult one for me. There's never been one certain person that I thought completely defined Alex and exa is exactly how I pictured him in my head. You know, Alex has this sandy blonde hair and these very cut features. He's got this very square jawline and, you know, he's a very attractive man. Um, and the closest, the closest two that I could find to possibly play Alex is Mike Vogel, or Alex, I think you say it Pettifer. I don't know, guys. Forgive me if I butcher these names, but Alex Pettifer, which is fitting since his name is already Alex. But those are the two that I found that are the closest closest for possibly playing Alex. For Cole... Um, Cole's is very, obviously we know he's a very dark character, but he also has these very dark features. Um, he's got this really dark, almost black hair, he's got these really dark eyes, he's just kind of got this intense look about him. Um, and so the, the two people that I found that I think would do a really good job with Cole or could really kind of fit his physical look is Orlando Bloom, which fits well because he's already got that accent, or... Matt Bomber. I think you say it, Bomber. Um, he's got this really intense look about him. He's got those dark features and kind of that suave look of confidence about him. So th those are the two that I could possibly see playing Cole. So, um, as of right now, there is no movie option with The Fall of Angels, but there's been a lot of people asking about it, so we'll keep our fingers crossed that maybe someday we'll see something happen. But, anyways, those are the, the three main characters and the people that I, I could see playing them. 
And yeah, so that's that's who I would who I would cast in my inspiration for the Fall of Angels. So um, this concludes day three of Ask Curie. If you have any more questions, please post them in the comments or tag me on Twitter or however you would like to get questions to me. And I will try and do my best to get to all of your questions over the next little while until I have to get back to work with playing at Kale. So I will see you tomorrow.